Mr. Chairman, thank you for calling this important hearing on the safety of air charter and on-demand operations, commonly referred to as Part 135 operations. Air charter and on-demand operators, including tourist sightseeing flights, agricultural missions, business charter flights, and helicopter rescue flights, play an important role in our economy. Air charter and on-demand air taxi operators conduct flights under different regulations than large commercial carriers due to the wide variety of flight and mission profiles of Part 135 operators. Commercial airlines, on the other hand, operate under fairly uniform flight and mission profiles. They're generally fly flying scheduled flights from one airline to, uh, airport to another and uh, with a great deal of consistency. Uh, according to industry experts, the Part 135 industry has shown a declining accident rate over the last 10 years. However, a recent Department of Transportation Inspector General review has indicated that there are potential safety risks and shortcomings in FAA oversight of this co complex industry. So I'm interested in hearing an assessment of the safety of the Part 135 industry and what steps might be taken to improve risk-based safety oversight of the industry. I'd also like an update from the FAA and other witnesses on the regulatory efforts that grew out of the 2005 A Aviation Rulemaking Committee recommendations specific to this segment of the aviation industry. Finally, safety experts have testified before this subcommittee that the key to improving aviation safety is to address threats based on defined risk. Safety data from both mandatory and voluntary reporting mechanisms have helped the FAA to achieve a remarkable safety record. According to the Inspector General's report, there is a lack of safety data available to regulators and auditors to pinpoint safety risks within the Part 135 industry. So I'm interested in, in hearing from the witnesses which data sets, if collected, would help to improve safety without causing undue cost burdens on small mom and pop operators. Uh, and this is always a problem between larger and smaller uh, entities, and we don't want to drive uh, small people out of business because they're often servicing major parts of our, uh, of our economy. In my part of the country, we have a lot of people flying uh, crop dusting and doing other flights in addition to the emergency uh, health flights and the like. Thank the witnesses for their participation in today's hearing, and I, I look forward to your testimony.